All right, all right, Leo, what it be, yo? It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again, one time for the one time, yes, indeed, to say happy birthday to you, boo. Shout out to everyone who is celebrating a birthday. Thank you guys so much for clicking this video and showing love and light over here to Scorpion Red Tarot. We are here to find out what's going on for you guys for the month of August 2019. Thank you so much to everyone who's been sending some support to the page. Shout out to my baby baby girl Callie shout out to my baby girl D that's been sending love through PayPal and the Amazon wish list shout out to everyone who has been booking um readings um shout out just to everyone I hope that everyone is celebrating and experiencing love and light during the season right now right so um Real quick, if anyone wants to book a personal private reading with Scorpion Red Tarot, all you need to do is click the About tab. What you need to do is book and then link with me, okay? Click that booking link that says Scorpion Red Tarot as Simply Book Me. Select the reading that you want, then link up with me. You'll see a uh, hyperlink for my Instagram directly under the booking. Go ahead and click that and send me a personal private message. If you don't have Instagram, you can just connect with me with your email using uh, Google Hangouts. So download the app google hangouts i believe the only thing that you need is your email to download that and use my email to send me a message which is scorpionreds at gmail.com and we can connect on there for the video chat okay if you don't want to get on camera for a video chat there is an add-on that you can purchase um you can also use that add-on if you want to record your live video session with me and if you want to upload to youtube so you can go back and watch it at your leisure there's an add-on in the menu on um, my booking page called a direct load slash video recap you can purchase that for your reading and send me a message and say hey reds um, I want to record the video when we do our live chat and or I don't want to get on camera this is what I want to know and if you send me the question make sure that you send me the question pertaining to the reading that you booked just asking the question that you want to know don't tell me the meat and potatoes around the question as to why you're asking that because i want to go into the energy blind see what spirit has to say and then we can go from there okay so like i said you book with me then you link up with me on either instagram or google hangouts and then we're good to go from there if you guys want to send some support if these videos resonate and you want to send some love and light to the page my amazon wish list and my paypal information is also in the description and in the about tab and thank you guys so much again for all of the support again i want to give a shout out to my baby girl um uh Shalea. Shalea. i want to give a shout out to my baby girl Shalea. i want to give a shout out to my girl l i want to give a shout out to miss d i want to give a shout out to my baby girl Callie. shout out again to everyone who's been sending love like and support to the page i appreciate every last one of y'all now let's get into the energy Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here today for the sign of Leo. Thank you so much for bringing us through another year to celebrate our birthdays and to just experience the love and positivity and light that this um, universe has to give. I know we've been experiencing a lot of ups and downs throughout this retrograde. Um, please allow us to look at these changes with a positive mindset and a positive um, outlook on um these new phases in our life i know we're walking into new chapters father god please allow us to have our chin up our head high and you know full of love and light and you know expecting blessings and uh prosperity into this new phase in our life father god thank you so much for bringing us through thank you so much for all that you do please give us guidance for the sign of leo for the month of august 2019 and thank you again for all of the blessed glorious lessons and blessings that we've received in the past present and surely in the future we thank you in advance father god please give us guidance for the sign of leo thank you again all right you guys let me get a quick sip of my kazafi Ooh. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, ma'am. I do. Yes, ma'am. I do like green eggs and ham. I do. All right, so let's see what we got going on here for my Leo in August. Let's get some shadow and light guidance. All right, Father, give me guidance for my Leo. Thank you so much. Mm hmm. It says, fairy of the green world. It says, the natural world needs you. All right? 
fairy of the green world, the natural world needs you. So I feel like some of you guys have been enjoying your summer, smoking a lot of green. It's like, let me stop. I feel like I feel like a lot of you guys have a green thumb. Um, you guys are like planting new seeds into your foundation here. Um, I definitely feel like you guys have a magical green thumb and you are planting new seeds in the world. And if um, you literally have never planted a tree, uh, <laughs> planted a tomato, if you've never done anything like that, I really do feel like a lot of you guys are really getting in touch with your foundation and just the nature around you. And if anything, your human nature, you're tapping into your human nature itself. Let's read from the book and see what direct message it has here for you guys, all right? Oh, Lord Jesus. Okay. Okay, so it said the fairy of the green world. It's time to grow plants and tend to the vegetable patch or the herb garden. Looking into contributing some money or time or devotion to a cause for the green world. The natural forest and the wild green spaces of the plants are needing your healing, your kind, and your tending hand and heart right now. Your influence has a great power. Make a donation to a wildlife foundation for the green world. It says, look into establishing a grove, visiting a forest, or offering your energetic support and prayers to the world where green spaces thrive and where wild creatures and green woods continue to live on their own environment. See and visualize a world where green nature is safe, where there are one such as you in the world. It is a way of true and strong belief in life. Eat organic foods, go raw, detox, find a water source and cleanse it. Be more self-sustaining and step away from unnatural systems and join natural energies of the planet and of the galaxy. Okay, so I feel like a lot of you guys have been changing your diets. You guys have just been going a little bit more green, going a little... A little bit more natural and like I said if you haven't necessarily dived that deep where you're going raw you know eating raw foods eating a whole bunch of plant-based diet type of stuff if you're not doing something like that and I did try to record this video earlier and I did say in that earlier recording that some of you guys have started like um what are these like food memberships where you get these food meal plans and stuff like that? These vegan food meal plans and you um, mail and you deliver your food out or something like every day is something like that. I see when you guys start in like a vegan food truck or like a healthy eating food truck or you guys work in the food uh, in the um, school system and you guys are trying to push a healthy eating initiative where you have something to do with like a healthy eating and an exercise initiative at your job. So I feel like you guys are taking your environment and just your body just very serious right now. Um, and if not necessarily that deep, just the people that you have in your environment, you might be going a little bit more green and cleaning up certain things. Things. So let's get general guidance. Please give us guidance. Ooh. Okay. We got the hermit here. And then we got the king of cups in reverse. So it looked like some of y'all went cold on a cancer Pisces or Scorpio male. Okay. The hermit. Looks like you guys have removed yourself from a situation for sure and went to regain some mental clarity and some elbow space. You're like, I need some space from you. You need to back up. You need to back up. Because number one, I don't know how you feel. You don't know how you feel. And you're an emotional shit record. You damn sure not about to push that goddamn retarded ass energy off on me. I need space. I need space. King of Spears, y'all might possibly be, y'all might possibly, y'all might be talking to other people here. You got <laughs> the King of Cups in the reverse, the King of Spears, which is the King of Wands in the upright, the Knight of Wands in the reverse, the Three of Swords. <laughs> 
And the Seven of Cups. Oh, yeah. It is a Leo female here. She confused as a motherfucker. She got three different men and she did it with it. She don't know what the hell to do with herself right now. And she just went cold on all of y'all. Sayonara. Take care now. Bye-bye then. I'm confused. I don't know what the fuck to do with none of you. With all three of you. With all three of you. I don't know. Is you, is you, is you, is you finished or is you done? Is you finished or is you done? Is that what Birdman said? Listen, I'm in a crossroads with all three of you. I got a heart stuck in my heart. I don't know which decision to make with any of you. Because all of you look damn good to me, goddamn shit. But this Leo female, she blind as a motherfucker. Or this could even be, because I see all male energy. This could be someone who is in a, um, you know, in a gay relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like, they sitting here with this heart, man. You know, like, they young. Look, looking like a good old young, tender bit all nice looking. And, you know. And this could also, this could be a male or female energy. Like I said, I'm very versatile. We very open. And we live loud and free over here. So, you know, come one, come all. Look, we don't got no discrimination over here. If you young and you sexy and you looking, look, looking like your name Lexi. You young and you sexy looking like your name Lexi. Okay, girl. <laughs> it's your world. All right. You fucking up the summer. You having a hot girl summer. Okay. <laughs> you got these niggas going dumb, dumb, dumb. You got these niggas going dumber. Okay. You trying to make decisions. Number one, you got two grown men here and then you got one. That's around your age. We got one here, this knight of spirits. He's like in his late 20s, like mid 30s. And then you got these two over here that are in there at the late 30s, early 40s, late 50s, like that kind of, but I'm still sexy as a motherfucker range. Yeah. Like I said, you got this king of cups. I feel like this is the one that you really, really like. This Cancer Pisces or this Scorpio here. This one is very attractive. They know what to say. They know how to move your emotions. They are very attentive and they are very giving. But when they... I feel like something happened to this person. Either in their finances or their career. Something happened to them that just unnerve them where they're just an emotional shit wreck right now and they don't know how to give emotionally in love right now because they have personal issues going on and they're not being as attentive and giving to you and you just don't like it and you just don't have time for it because you also got a king of wands you got a king of wands and this one is just as good looking this one has a better body i feel like you really really enjoy the sex with this one but i feel like your emotions is trapped with this one and you just want this one to get itself together but at the same time you don't have time to worry about this one getting itself together because you got um, um daddy long legs over here you got daddy long legs daddy love me long fucking time right here but he's a good one here he's really the keeper but then you got the Knight of fucking Wands in reverse. Now, when you talking about, see, this is the one that got your heart. This is the one that you really should be with and is the keeper. But I don't really think that you looking at him like that. And this is the one that is the addiction, honey. This is the one that look good, smell good, taste good, fuck you good, do you dirty, leave you with a few goddamn dollars on your dresses, on your nightstand, if he do that. Okay, if he do that, he going to ghost you and you'll see him in a couple of months. He going to pop back up and act like you just talked to him yesterday. But the sex and everything is just so good and he's just so hypnotizing and shit. You just cannot, even though you know good and damn well, like, uh-uh, girl, because this motherfucker ghosted me and did me. <laughs> you still, it's like you cannot like, you cannot resist this one. You understand what I'm saying? So right now you're in a situation where you got all three of them coming at you all at one time possibly more and you cannot make a decision your heart is broken you do not know what to do you are not trying to hurt anybody and you are just absolutely motherfucking confused and you are trying to figure out listen the natural world needs you listen you look smoking your tree you like bitch what am i about to do what am i about to do which one you 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 or you which one do i want honey I gotta figure out how to plant this tree here. Let's get some guidance here with my Game of Thrones playing card deck. Okay. Let's see what type of energy we get off of the three of these. 
So let's see. Give me some guidance about this King of Cups, you guys. Because she done went cold on all of them. Because she got to do some internal soul searching to kind of figure out what she feels. Okay? I told you. The Queen of Hearts, she loves the King of Cups. I told you. She loves this Queen of Fucking... I mean, this King of Cups in reverse. That's the one that she has the heart for. Let's see. Listen, okay, the King of Spears, the Fool, the Joker, she knows without, she knows, listen, that's my man, Um, that's the Hound. If y'all don't know, if y'all know the Game of Thrones, y'all know the Hound. In the beginning of the show, y'all hated this motherfucker, right? You hate, he, you, he got on your nerves, but towards the end of the season... I love the way he protected and held Arya down. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was a good-ass man. You know? I just feel like he's just had a rough life. You know, like, this one could possibly even have, like, some battle scars. Like, this one can have, like, I want to say, like, a security guard job or whatever this person does. This person has a very active, active lifestyle and I really do feel like this person comes at you aggressively and I feel like regardless if you like it or not this person is always going to be there and to protect you it is always going to be there for you because I want to say that this person is a fool over you I it I just feel like you just don't see it you don't see it but something in your heart you know that's where you should be okay and then this one here this knight of spears you guys, with this two of diamonds, you guys just talk to each other, basically. And with this seven of, this seven of spades, like, you know that this is the bad luck card. I swear that this is the bad luck card. I am about to look and verify this, but this is a bad luck card. You guys just talk to each other from time to time. And, like, that's it. You already know that this is bad luck. Like, your intuition, your faith, you know <laughs> Everything within you, like you have an understanding with this person, and it's not going to go anywhere. Like this person is in and out. You guys just talk, and y'all just hook up from time to time. You know that this person, you already know. You already know. And let's just verify because I want to verify because you know I like clarifications. You know I like clarification around here, okay? You know I don't like to lead you astray, Tokyo. You know I don't like to lead you astray, Tokyo. Which one of y'all's name is Tokyo? Watch your me. Which one of y'all always think you be in Tokyo? Your name is Tokyo on um <laughs> Your nickname is Tokyo on Instagram. Who who's Tokyo? <laughs> I told you, the seven of spades, traditionally a card of bad luck and loss, unexpected trouble, mishap, unhappy surprises, serious setback, a reversal of plans, frustration, lack of progress, stalemate, stagnation, addictions, drugs, medications, alcohol, codependency, a codependent relationship, cocktails, nightclubs, the bar or saloon. Like I told you, this is this is just a fun time. He is just a fun time. You already know this. Like this person is your addiction. That one is your chocolate, okay? And he could be literally milk chocolate. Literally. He is your chocolate. He is your addiction. He is your coffee. He is your nicotine. This one. This one has been in and, in and out of your life for a minute. I feel like you've known this one since y'all were young. Since y'all were young. You love this one. This, ki this king of cups in the reverse. That's who you want to give your heart to. But he is not in a position to give his heart to you right now. And let's find out why he is not in a position. Come on, um, Leo. Can we get into the meat and potatoes today, girl? Because, listen, you ain't got to keep holding yourself back. We about to get this figured out right now, girl. Right now. Come on, Melisandre. Okay? And y'all know Melisandre, okay? She's a, look, she like a high priestess on the low low. <laughs> on the low low. Melisandre, girl. Give me guidance about this King of Cups and Melisandre. What's going on with him? What's going on with... Ooh, okay. Go ahead, flip me over like that. Ooh, the cross. I feel like this is like a hard cross to bear. Like this, I feel like there's a lot of pain buried under this relationship here. But it's like, you feel like you are rooted in your faith. Like you, 
I feel like you just have faith in this person that they're going to get it together. Like they're going to get it together and you, 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 like, you feel like you're spiritually, you feel like this is your soul partner. You're the yin, he's the yang. You're the day, he's the night. You're the hot, he's the cold. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, it's just like star-crossed lovers. Like, but it's fate there. And you've been praying and praying and praying so much that this person to get their self together. Oh, okay, come on. Come on, crossroads. Yeah, you guys have been in the crossroads for a long time. And you just, you you know that this is the one that you should be with. You just don't understand why y'all can't get out of this crossroads. Okay. So you feel like there's a lot of secrets here with this person. There's a lot of stuff hidden with this person, with this book. Um, You feel like eventually it'll come out. I feel like you study this man. Like you watch this person online. You might be getting readings on this person. You're probably watching the reading because you're trying to figure out what's going on with this person and these other people that you're dealing with because you're having a hot girl ass summer. Come on, girl. Okay, I feel like you write about this person a lot in your diary. Like, I feel like you've been really hoping and praying and trying to manifest the situation together. But I really do feel like only time will tell with this one because, like, the foundation and the structure of this situation was built on, like, a lot of drama here. And um, this is like an unexpected arrival. I do feel like eventually in time, this person will arrive and you'll get your wish fulfilled here but i feel like it's probably going to take it's probably going to take another time it might take another year or so it might take another year or so possibly too um give me guidance because like if don't hold yourself back waiting for this person and get himself together because i'm trying to tell you you're going to be praying for a long time and you're just going to be frustrated and you're going to be sitting there writing in your diary watching time pass and you by waiting for this person to make a sudden arrival back into your life to show you that he loves you and you need to move on and because you got someone that's focused on you right here give me guidance in regards to this king of wands the joker this king of wands give me guidance the garden this one is waiting for you to open up the communication with him so and i feel like you guys are supposed to be going out soon or something like that possibly because it's your birthday and shit she he's waiting for and this could be vice versa because i did just about to say she um this person is waiting for you to come to them they're waiting for you to get over this like this person knows that your heart is house is elsewhere and it's like that it's like just talk to me and like can we just talk and just let me know where this situation is going like where we're heading like is this a separation are we breaking up like because you see that three right there like they know that it's a third party and i really do feel like I feel like this person is like fearing an ending or something like that. The grave, yep. I feel like this person is fearing a death in this situation. Or they may be communicating with you that they're moving on. You know what I'm saying? Because I know that there's other people involved here. And I'm not going to continue to waste my time and invest my energy when I'm... Listen, this gentleman is, is breaking up with you. And they know that there's another gentleman. Like, they know that there's someone else. They know that there's someone else. Especially, I feel like this one knows about the younger one or something. I don't think this one knows about the King of Cups. Because I told you, this one knows about the chocolate. This one knows about the chocolate. The younger gentleman. Oh, why am I putting this up? I need to find out what's going on with Chocolate Daddy. With Mr. Goodbar, okay? Give me guidance about Mr. Goodball, Mr. Fun Time, Mr. Daddy Long Legs. Give me guidance about Mr. Daddy Long Legs. What's going on with Mr. Daddy Long Legs? What's going on with Mr. Daddy Long Legs? Ooh, dog. He's a dog, okay? He's a dog. 
Okay, he's a dog, honey. I feel like there's <laughs> like loyalty and commitment is okay. You okay? Okay, I feel like you also wishing upon a stars that this per oh, and then the bear. Okay, hold on, that's under the day. The fox, I could have tapped the girl, girl, girl. <laughs> girl. <laughs> Girl, look, this nigga be coming through strong arm and a pussy, or she be coming through strong arm and man. <laughs> oh, ooh, no, okay, no, I do gotta put this there. And I know you in love with them, but that ain't, mm -mm, nope, mm -mm, nope, 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 putting that right back. I'm sorry. I am fucking sorry. Like, so with Mr. Goodball, Daddy Long Legs. Mr. Chocolate, I believe that you know that this person is a dog. You know that this person is never going to commit to you. But you're hoping and you're praying that this person will commit to you because that's your companion. Like, that's been your homie. Like, you've known this person for a long time. It's been like your homie, lover, friend, or it damn near seemed like it. Y'all been just fucking for just so long. I mean, this is like y'all just been fucking with, like, no commitment for so long. And I feel like you've been just, like, hoping and praying upon the moon and the stars but you know that this person is sneaky and deceptive and not only that i really do feel like this person is controlling and this person controls you with sex and manipulation do you understand do you understand like this person is very deceptive you know what i'm saying and like this person almost has like a career of being deceptive and like this person could possibly even be in like the criminal industry like this person could be a thief. This person could be like um, criminal enforcement. Do you understand? This person could be a spy, like a criminal spy enforcement or something like that. So, yeah. Okay, so let's let's get some guidance real quick on the Seven of Cups. Give me some guidance on the Seven of Cups, please. And it's Three of Swords. Give me guidance right here in between this. Three of Swords and the Seven of Cups. What type of guidance do we have to have about this? Being heartbroken between these three different individuals and being confused, not knowing which decision to make, what, what the best option is. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like your love sick. You're lovesick and you just want a good man where y'all can like. Okay, so with this seven of hearts right here, I, I feel like this means um mutual love feelings. I want to say that. Let me just clarify that real quick, you guys. And sorry, y'all know I'm still learning cardamancy, so just bear with me, okay? The seven of hearts, peaceful surroundings, healing, steady improvements, happy surprises, cycles of life, a second chance, an opportunity to redo something that comes in twos. So I feel like you guys really, you want a, and then what is this? This I know this one means a second. Hold on. This means mutual feelings. The eight of hearts, mutual feelings, happiness, comfort, sharing with another, togetherness, working together um a couple emotional connection emotional balance warmth enjoyment relaxation and protection so with that being said this is the jack of clubs the jack of clubs is like um a hard worker like a like, I want to say, like, a pit boss, like, a club manager or something like this. Like, this is a young fellow. This is someone that is very spontaneous, very outgoing. Um, and I really do feel like this person put forth a very hard effort to try to give this person some type of peace and balance and harmony and try to show this person like you're safe here like let me love you and you see his um, appearance you know he may be a little bit different than what you're attracted to and I really do feel like that's this 
I really do feel like that is this king of wands here. I feel like this person just looks a little bit different than what you're used to dating. But I feel like that's the safest bet. Like someone is actually showing you your, you know, love and trying to give to you. The Jack of Clubs, a hardworking, honest, sincere young person. He's a busy, active person. Most often a male, clever and enterprising. He enjoys sports and may participate in school, community, football, basketball, soccer. He can represent an employee and can denote a young acquaintance from work he could also be a close friend or a business associate and he may be useful to the inquirer in some way he may wear a uniform that symbolizes his work rank so like i said this is someone i really do feel like this is him and this is the one that's about to walk away from you like i said this four spades right here this four spades to me represents sickness like Something not working out to the point where you were so dead set on, in your attentions on something being a certain way and the foundation just doesn't turn out to be what you want it to be. And I feel like this person, it just, I feel like this person has just been waiting so long and this person was anxiety sick. And this person realized, I need to take it easy from this situation. Because at the end of the day, I didn't put all of this hard work right here with this nine of clubs. I, I didn't put all this. Because I feel like this person is jack of clubs right here. This is someone that they're, they've always been there for you. They've always been there for you. Like, regardless of what these two have done, this person has been there. And it's just like, they're just tired of fucking waiting. And it's like... I know I, I'm, I'm going to be okay. You know what I'm saying? I need the feelings to be mutual. If I'm going to put all this work in, I need the feelings to be mutual. I need you to show me that you love me and that you really want to be here for me. Otherwise, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to have to do what I'm, I got to do because this person feels like I know that there's someone else. I know that you're confused. I'm grown enough. I'm not stupid. I'm not no spring chicken. Do you understand what I'm saying? You need to make a decision and plant your seed in the garden that you know that it, where it's going to grow or where you want it to grow. It's like I want it to grow here with me, but if it doesn't, like I'm cool on that. I want mutual feelings. And that's the way this person feels. And this person is like, <laughs> haven't I always been there? Look at his face. Like, haven't. What do you, you like? Haven't I always been there for you? You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like this person just really doesn't understand, like, why, you know, their garden isn't good enough for you to plant in after, like, all everything that they do for you. I feel like this person does a lot for you. Um, the four of spades it represents illness. Recuperation, the need for caution, a sick bed, a hospital room, a coffin, a jail cell, rest, confinement, exhaustion, the need to take it easy, moving at a slower pace, bedridden, feeling fenced in, staying at home, an unhealthy situation, feeling trapped, feeling sick and tired. I told you, I told you. Like this person, they like, listen, Leo, if this is a Leo woman, I'm really going to encourage you to really think about like who means you well. The nine is a card of luck, travel, achievement, luck in business, lucrative business opportunity, a steady break or successful career move. Represent time, space and distance or someone or something far away, a long duration, something long lasting, surrounded by spades. This can denote postpones and long de delays. It's also, listen, surrounded by spades, someone being sick and tired. Is that this been a long ass motherfucking delay? This, this is a travel card. This is also a card of travel. From the notions of time and distance, it can represent a journey from business or pleasure. It can also represent emotional, psychological, or spiritual journey. Okay? So I really do want you guys to take heed that this person is only with so much they can take. It's only but so much they can take. It's only but so much they can take. They're aware of these other people. They're aware of the confusion. They're aware that they're not. No, they feel like they're being treated as if they're an option. And 
you need to figure out where you're going to plant your seed and how you're going to grow and how you're going to move forward. Do you, you know what I'm saying? So let's get some guidance from the psychic tarot deck here. I'm loving the way y'all reading just went. Oh, y'all reading is the T. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, hot girl, goddamn summer. Bitch, you guessed it. And you was motherfucking right. Okay. Hi, girl. Baby, you got what I want. Is you really gonna satisfy me? I be making love like endlessly. <laughs> Hi, boy. Baby, you got what I want. <laughs> yes, me, yo. What a goddamn beat, baby. Give me guidance. Ooh. Mm -mm, I seen that root chakra. Mm -mm. I seen that root chakra. Where you go? Did you just disappear on me? Ooh, you disrespectful. You be disrespecting. Give me guy. Ooh. Okay. Oh, oh, uh, uh. Don't be, don't be Papa. Oh, okay. Throat chakra. You don't know how to tell them. I don't know what to say to you. Do I want you, 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 or you? <laughs> Bitch, I don't know what to say to you. Do I want you, 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 or you? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. That didn't sound too good. I'm sorry. They don't know what to say. What am I? How am I supposed to break this shit down? Hold on, y'all hear the song in the back? This what happened when I think about you. I get in my feelings, yeah. I start reminiscing. Next time I'm around you, I want it to be different. Yeah, they sing it to this one. Lord, please save her for me. Hey, do this one favor for me. Hey, that's with that one right there. That's that King of Cups. Goddamn, this Leo is down bad about this King of Cups right here. Do this one favor for me. I gotta turn that shit up because y'all listen. Hold on. Hold on, I got to change my player ways. It got way too complicated for me. Hold on, let me run that back, y'all. I'm sorry. She said I had to change my player ways. Got way too complicated for me. I hope he's waiting for me. Woo, disruption, baby. You two on a pot, baby. Hold on. Got way too complicated, huh? You hope he waiting for you. Everywhere she goes, they playing my song. Ah, y'all torn apart, bitch. God damn, Leo. I ain't know y'all was down bad on it like that. Leo fucked up. He said, give me all of you in exchange for me. They ain't talking to this goddamn Cancer Pisces Scorpio, man. Ooh. Give me God. Should I tell? Ooh, no. Mm. Ooh, y'all. Y'all reading is the T he motherfucking he, bitch. Listen, number one, it's saying, like I said, y'all don't even know how to tell motherfuckers how you feeling because you are so fucking confused. You really love this one, but this one ain't ready for you. This one gives you everything, but you're not sure if you could devote yourself to this one because every time this one pops up, you have to give into this one too. It's like you're so fucking confused. You feel like you are torn apart, but your hot girl fucking summer has been ignited. And bitch, I'm ready to go. Tell me when 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 to go, bitch. Dum 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 dum. Tell me when to go. Tell me when to go. Tell me when to go. Tell me when to go, bitch. Dum dum. You bitch, that motherfucking hot girl summer. What? What? That passion has been ignited. Like, honey, you look, you don't know if you coming or going, but whole time though, you know, typically it's the woman chasing. No, they diminish chasing you, boo. Your passion has been ignited. They see that flame on your tail, bitch. They trying to come. They're like, ooh, hot girl. Hi, girl. Baby, you got what I want. Girl, you got what they want. Girl, it's 
is transformation right here. It says your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. Okay? There's someone here that you really do have like a deep soul connection with. That is like literally your twin, your soul counterpart between these people. I don't know which one it is. I really don't. I do, but I don't want to say which one it is because I don't listen. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Y'all figure it out yourself. Y'all book with me. Y'all holler at me. We can talk on a personal level, but we talk talking to a lot of motherfuckers on here. So I don't know. Y'all just seen these cards. Y'all know which one seem like. Uh, 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 anyway. Okay. Passion. A magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at the present. Enjoy your girl. Didn't I tell you you was on your hot girl shit? Listen, let me tell tell yo. Let me try to tell you. I don't know who this is. If this is a woman or this is a man, y'all is on your hot girl or your hot boy summer like shit. And listen, I listen, you got a plethora of options here. You got a plethora of friendships right here, okay? You <laughs> look how you taking care of you. <laughs> <laughs> you got a plethora of you see how these men trying to take care and hold on you it says nurture the bond of friendships within your relationships and your love life will dramatically improve listen you got a lot of friends you got a lot of friends a lot of passionate friendships that's going to transform you and one is a, oh, okay you know what mm, I'm calling Okay, because this reading don't already got too spicy. And I know this, this bitch about to be two hours, Lord Jesus. Because we got like two. How many more sprays? We got four more sprays to go, y'all. And then we up out of here. But I'm sorry. This is the tee hee hee for me hee hee. This is the tee hee hee for y'all. It's the tee hee hee for me hee hee. Honey, this is the way to start off a goddamn monthly spreads. Okay, this is the way to start off the monthlies. Leo, I'm going to start off with y'all every motherfucking month. Shit, y'all got all type of shit going on over here. Okay. Leo said, ain't nothing dry over here, Red. <laughs> Splash Mountain like shit, bitch. What you thought? Okay, listen, I told you we done got over that shit from the past. We got tired of making an ass of ourselves. Honey, say it with me again. Splash Mountain Splash, bitch. Okay, Red, you better start every goddamn monthly off with Leo. You already know what it be over here, Red. You already know we was your number one stunner. Well, what, but what, what, what? I ain't even gonna lie. Leo was my first sign to ever hit 1K. Y'all were my number one stunner. Listen, Leo said, listen, I don't learn my lesson, honey. We splash mountain over here. I got too much shit sh popping and shit dropping over here. Okay? I'm reading all these niggas down like a book. I ain't making a decision just yet. They said, what you said, Red's waiting until after the retrograde. I heard you, bitch. I heard you. Okay, girl. Okay, girl, it is your world. Okay, girl. Okay, Tiger Lily. <laughs> Tiger Lily Power Ranger plus you. Okay, Ram. Take him down, girl. Take him down. Shit. What's going on with this? Look, the and she said, yes, ma'am. <laughs> I told you from the beginning before we even pulled car. I do like green eggs and ham. Bitch, I want it all with extra butter. Yes, ma'am. I will. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I gotta go. I gotta go with y'all. I can't. Clarify this fool ass shit for me. <laughs> Cause Leo up in this bitch talking shit. They's like, Reg, where you been at? I'm like, Leo, where you been at, girl? Where you been at? It's been, girl. I need my female Leo to pop energy to pop up in this motherfucker for a, a little bit more. Cause normally it'd be like the male energy up in here. We got the ladies up in here. Okay, driving the Mercedes up in here. Driving these niggas crazy up in here. They said drive where? Say it with me. Splash Mountain, bitch. Facts. Okay. Give me guidance for my Leos. What's coming up in in August for my Leos? Listen, cause you already know what it be. Okay. Okay. So someone is coming back for the return. There will be someone coming that back trying to get some karmic justice or some forgiveness or something with someone that is off balance. And y'all know the retrograde. It ain't over. It ain't over. The party's not over. Do me, uh, 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 baby, uh, 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 tonight. Boom, ch 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 Do me. This motherfucker is like, um, can I get a cup, please? Because at the end of the day, I 
see you out here having a good ass motherfucking time, Leo. You pulling it up. Leo been going out celebrating, having a good time. You've been posting a lot of pictures. I feel like someone has been looking at Leo posting a lot of pictures, going out, drinking, and having a good ass time. I feel like Leo has been very emotionally fulfilled. Um, I feel like Leo has definitely been working hard. Is if you can see the feet. You see there's a lot of dirt, you know what I'm saying? And you see this person is pouring some juice or something into this cup to feed some children or to give some juice to some children. So they see that Leo has been focused on their children. They've been focusing on working hard, partying hard, and playing hard with their children, you know? And I feel like Leo has been separated from this person. This might could be someone, okay. The Knight of Cups. There go this Knight of Cups. This is someone. This is someone coming back to you with their heart in tow, and they're hoping that you will be willing to give your heart back in return after this duration of separation. It could possibly be someone that you have children with, or it's just someone that knows your children. But where things were left as it stands. Things are just were off balance with you guys. I feel like this is something with someone where a chapter was not closed. And this person that you are in a position where you can pour a lot of cups in there. Hoping that possibly you got something to pour a little bit in their cup, basically. It could be someone trying to... Yeah, someone put something down in order to come back to you leo this is someone that put something down to come back to you the page of cups and you're going to get a message very soon someone's going to be communicating with you very soon that um they want to start a new beginning with you and could possibly want to like extend their family with you like they possibly would want like one more child or something like that Hmm. It's most definitely someone that there was some karmic justice that needs to be addressed. And some karmic justice that needs to be addressed. There's something unsettled, something off balance. As a someone, however that you have kids with, or they know that you have kids and you've been taking care of yourself and you've been doing just fine without them. Like like I said, this person possibly thought the shit situation with you was going to be dry, but it wasn't. You got more than enough goddamn options right here to deal with enough. You done learned your lesson with this person, and I felt like you moved on, and you moved on successfully, and you're good right now. And they're hoping that if they just come and pop up in your life, that you're going to be on some let bygones be bygones shit, and that you would just be so excited and thrilled that they're coming back that you would give them this is someone, I want to say like this person has a little bit of ego. Like they are a little, their ego is, is like, they really have a big ego. They, they, they feel like if they just come and announce their self to you, that you are just going to be willing to drop everything that you're doing. You see what I'm saying? Like you're just going to drop everything. As long, you know, as long as they're giving you something in your cup. Like, this is honestly the arrogance of this person that they think that, they think that, that, that they're that full of their self. Do you understand? Like, they are literally that fucking full of their self that they feel like the only thing that they need to do is come around and you're going to give to them. But they did put something down to come to you. They did put something down to come to you. And when they come to you, they want to start all over again. And they possibly want to expand and have another child with you. But like the arrogance of this person, it's just like, <laughs> if I come back, she's going to give, she's going to give her cup to me. Oh, really now? Oh, really? Let's see how this is going to turn out. Because like I said, Leo right now is the fairy of the green world. Leo is the fairy of the green world. <laughs> they are literally trying to figure out where I want to plant my seeds. Where do I want to have this firm foundation growing? This person's probably going to come to you around October, November. But at the end of the day, you're not enthusiastic about it. 
you're not going to this person is you're, there's not this person is not going to receive an enthusiastic and excited or a warm reaction from Leo when they come back like they're not and it's just as in reverse like they're not going to get favor they're not going to get what they're expecting yeah the bill hidden they know that there's something hidden behind this person's request and i feel like this leo feels like you thought that my life was going to be dry and stagnant without you you thought that i wasn't going to learn the lesson but yes i did do you understand what i'm saying your life is dry and your face is cracked because you thought that i i was going to fail and i was going to sit back and suffer and wait for you to return and i didn't you see me good as shit over here taking care of my kids it doesn't matter if i gotta go through the mud and work hard i work hard and i play goddamn hard and this person is trying to come back because they want some of these cups that you're pouring they just want some of what's in your cup give me guidance and I honestly do feel like this is that King of Cups, y'all. This is, I mean, look at all of these cups. This is that Cancer Pisces Scorpio. This is that, like, come on. Come on. White. Y'all are on y'all pure shit right now. Y'all have cleaned y'all environment. Y'all are feel real angelic. Y'all are feeling free right now. Y'all are real, I mean, it's like purity innocence safety light like you really do feel like regardless of what this person tries to do i feel like you are not letting this person come and taint your pure environment that you've created right now this says violet um intuitive spiritual and self-aware you know that if you allow this person to come back they're going to knock your spirituality off you're not you know what i'm saying like you it's like and I want to say that that's for this King of Cups and for this Knight of Spears. You know what I'm saying? Like every time these two people come into your life, you're not able to trust your intuition. You're not grounded spiritually and you're just not self-aware because there's something about these two individuals. Like they come through and just fuck you over and just hypnotize you where you're just like stuck on dumb. <laughs> dumb, da dum dum dum. Like for real. Right now you guys are grounded stability foundation like i said this number four four right here y'all are focused on y'all foundation okay reliability order something that's manageable working hard you know what i'm saying so it's like you're not going to allow this person to come in and to keep fucking with you because like it's something about the way that this person is going to approach you. Because I'm trying to tell you, it's a level of fucking arrogance. This person is going to say something because this person is going to communicate with you online. I really don't feel like, like they're just going to roll up on you. It's going to be something online. It's going to be a message. But they're going to say something so fucking arrogant right here with this Knight of Cups. You just expect me to go, oh, no. Like, uh-uh, I already know what she, no, 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 no. It, it's, it's, going, it's like, whereas though, you might have been enthusiastic just to see this person's arrival back into your life. But as quickly as it comes in, it fades right away because this person's fucking arrogance. And it's like, how dare you? Like, you have the audacity to come back with this arrogance? Oh, yeah, you got some balls. Give me guidance as to what the outcome is going to be for my Leos this August. So last spread y'all we have most definitely been on a journey today if y'all enjoyed this video hit that uh, likes hit that thumbs up button hit that like button y'all make sure you try hit that subscribe button <laughs> my gracious does is this resonating with any of y'all did any of y'all have like two or three individuals like because two of these people sound like people that you've already been dealing with this one sounds like someone at work or someone that you know that sounds like someone new. Give me, ooh, fuck. What is this? <gasps> the five of swords. Honey, there's going to be a fucking altercation between two of the men here. You see how the two men are fighting over you and you see how the woman is in the back walking away, turning her back on both of them as if she don't even know these motherfuckers. Like, I really, is there any other cards that flew out here? I don't think so. Listen, y'all. Oh my gosh. Like, I really do feel like things are going to get to a point of no return where it's like, you're going to have to find some fucking balance here. And remember, I was saying one of you guys 
I forgot which one of these guys that I said that you felt like was your yin and your yang and shit. Whichever one that you felt was your soulmate or your twin, that's the one that's getting the shit beat out of them. And I want to say this knight, uh, this king of cups is going to get the shit beat out of them by this king of wands. Because like I told you, the king of wands is more athletic. They're fit. They're, they're tough. They're a fighter. You know what I'm saying? I want to say that y'all's... King of Cups and your Knight and your King of Wands is going to end up fighting. And you're going to turn your back on both of them. Like, oh my God, all of this fucking drama and this chaos. Like, what the fuck have I created? But you ladies are going to have two men fighting over you. Oh my God, do you see this? This is going to turn into a fucking fight, into a fucking street brawl, you guys. Oh my God. What is this? The King of Swords in Revo. Ooh, this my ooh in the five of one. Oh my God, this is gonna turn out so bad, y'all. Oh my fucking God. Number one, this person. I feel like the person that I want to say the King of Cups. That is the one that's your that that's your kid's father. That is the one that you feel like is your yin and yang. That's the one who got their ass beat right here. This and this person is holding the baby, so this is your kid's father. This person is going to cuss you the fuck out because it's like they came back with all that bravado and all that arrogance and shit, and they thought that you were alone and it wasn't nobody else checking for you or checking for them. But this motherfucker, I, feel, I really do feel like y'all, like y'all, gonna piss this one off right here. And this one is a really nice guy. This is a good guy. But like I told you, this one is a fighter. This is a warrior. This is the king of fucking wands. Like, do not forget that this is the king of fucking wands, okay? Your fucking baby father or whoever this is, the one that you love, the king of cups, is going to get their ass beat the fuck down by this person. And they're going to cuss you the fuck out. And they're going to be telling you, I don't want this man around my kids. Woo, woo, woo. Why you got this motherfucker around my... Girl, let me tell you something. And then you going right into the five of wands, bitch. When I'm trying to tell you... When I'm trying to tell you, it's going to go into a verbal battle, into a physical battle, and into another. It's going to be a lot of fucking chaos and fighting. It's going to be. And I feel like you're just, you're going to turn your back on. The, <laughs> oh, my gosh. Give me one more card, y'all, because I can't just end that shit like that. Wow. Whoa. Whoa, they son. You'll back out that ass up. I don't back shit up. I sling that Oscar Meyer. Listen. Okay. All right. Y'all remember that on that juvenile album? <laughs> Give me one more. What is this? The Ace of Wands. Oh, my God. It was this scent. Okay. Okay. Like, this, this, this is too much. Okay. It's too much involvement. It's too many partners. It's too much sexual partners. It's too much chaos. It's too much confusion. And, like, I feel like it's just going to... You're just... And I told you, you're going to walk away and you're walking away from everybody. And you're just going to leave them there to fight. And your baby father's going to be like, why the fuck you just let me sit there and get my ass whipped? Like, number one, and nobody told you to go out there talking shit, trying to compete and getting in motherfuckers' face in the first place. So, um, if you jumped out there to get your ass whipped, like, what the fuck you want me to do? Like, I'm fucking sorry. Like, I don't want you. I don't want none of y'all. That's it. Bye-bye. The end. Like, this is too much drama. I don't even know what y'all want me to do. I'm about to go smoke me some evergreen, bitch. I'm about to go on a vacation, okay? I'm about to go, um, you know, uh, go to, like, a, a planetary conservation something or and, 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 and I'm about to go and plant some, and, and I'm about to go plant some trees and somewhere and I'm going to Hawaii I ain't got time to talk to y'all anyway take care now bye bye then I feel like y'all going <gasps> yo this shit was bonkers nothing is like oh my god y'all Randy Savage. If this video fucking resonated, because I got to leave this like this, y'all, because y'all going to have to tell me what the fuck happens, y'all. Y'all motherfucking like them goddamn comments up. Y'all like that. Listen, y'all like the comment section up, y'all. If y'all know somebody going through this shit, y'all share this video because I want to know the tea. Y'all motherfucking email me, inbox me, motherfucking book a personal something so we can figure out what the fuck is going on with this shit here. What's going on with this shit here? Anyway, I love y'all. Bye.